Hello everyone, back again after a bit of a break. I started up a welding sideline to pay for the hydrogen fuel research and it turned into a business. And that's the way things go. So anyway, we're back with a uh, water battery concept here. Now this has been done before, obviously it's an old school science project, but I just thought I'd try a different track. We've got 10 cups here with 250 mils of water, one teaspoon of salt in each cup, just a small piece of wire going into one side, copper wire that I pinch from an old extension cord out the other side and so on from one to the other. On the end here we've got a green LED. It's glowing. It's been glowing for a bit over three days now at 76 hours or something like that and they're still working quite well. Now it's turned off, back on again. It uh, seems to be as bright as it was at the start so it's maintaining the power about 2.9 volts with 10 cups so what I'm looking at is uh, possibly getting enough power out of just salt water to run a small hydrogen fuel cell combining a couple of simple ideas uh, if that's possible it could uh, until everything corrodes away as you can see there's a bit of rust in there already from the salt water reacting with the metal it won't last forever of course but it's a short-term thing so theoretically we should be able to get power from salt water to extract hydrogen out of water with caustic soda or salt in it. So all a standalone project uh, until everything rusts away and then you just replace these bits of wire that cost nothing anyway. And um, maybe if we can get some hydrogen out of water for no cost input. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'll post this right now. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, might give some different ideas to somebody. And I'll continue with the research, see how much more power we can get of salt, just salt water containers. Alright, well that's it for now. Hope you enjoy it. More to come soon.